integration. Reverse, power rule. U, substitution. Trig, inverse trig, exponents, logarithms, long division. Completing the square. All right. And I'm going to write these down as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will start with Ariana. number one. So that is reverse power rule. So what do I get for an answer? I think you said the fourth, right? Yeah. Anything else? We'll see. We'll see. We're two tenths of a point. Uh, U substitution. Tyler, what would you do here? Okay. Keep going. So I get du is equal to what? 2x dx. Okay. Do I leave it like that? Do I have a 2x dx? I have an x dx. So I have 1 half du yeah. equals x dx. So I'm going to rewrite this. Here's my integral. And I put the half here. And I put the du here. So the x dx is gone. I got parentheses. Well, I don't have to even need parentheses. So it's going to be u to what power? One half. So I'm going to get u to what power now? Three halves. And out here I need a times one half, correct? Plus C. And so my answer here is I can get rid of those twos, right? One third parentheses to the three halves plus C. What goes in here? X squared plus one. X squared plus one. Excellent. Number three. Jonah. Perfect. It's like I planned this. Am I going too fast? I feel like I'm going way too fast. I gotta slow it down. Uh, I just got another one. The only, the only problem I really have currently is is the logarithmic natural log. I'm pretty sure I understand, but like the like normal logarithm. So, what's the antiderivative of secant squared? Oh, uh, is it secant? No. Oh. Derivative of sine is. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a little review. Cosine. Derivative of cosine? Negative sine. Derivative of tangent? Secant squared? Yes. So what's the answer here? Tangent. Tangent x plus? C. Number four. Is trig inverse. And it's smooth. This is the inverse of sine. What is this? Shh. I'm sorry. No telepathic. I'm sorry. Okay. I think it's the inverse of sine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Plus? Plus C. Plus C. Okay. Number five. 
This is Audrey. What's that? Absolute value. Right? I'm at number. That was. Oh, I skipped something. I skipped up exponents. Sorry. Ella, you get an exponent. Ella, when doing integrals, what's your favorite base? You get to choose. My favorite base? Mm hmm. You know what, okay, like two of this X, three of the X, five of the X, what's your favorite base? Um, Think about it very carefully. Probably three of the X. Close. It's, it's a good choice, it's close, but there's one even better. I hate to say it, I hate to say it because I love three of the X, but this is better. Um, three of the X? Close. It's in between two and three. E to the X? E to the X. Why do I like E to the X? Plus? Plus C. Okay. Callan, number seven. Long division. <clears throat> is the degree on top bigger than the degree on the bottom? It is. Do I have a binomial on the bottom? Two terms. Binomial means two. Okay. So, x plus one here. x cubed here, right? I can say plus zero x squared, plus zero x, plus zero. Right? You're okay with all those zeros? So what can I multiply x by to make it x cubed? x squared. x squared. So I get x cubed plus x squared. Would you agree? Yes. Negative, negative. So this becomes a negative x squared plus 0x. Would you agree with that? Yes. So what am I going to multiply x to make it a negative x squared? Negative x. Negative x. You're doing beautiful. Negative x squared, and then when I multiply that, I get a minus x. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Change the signs and add, Kruger, and I get x. Sound good? Good, okay. And so I, what can I multiply x by to make it x? One. One. So I get x plus one. There's a zero here change the signs, and I get negative one. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. So, now my integral is x squared minus x plus one dx. So I use that as my, one of my integrals. For my other one, since it's negative, I can write a minus integral one over x plus one dx. Any questions about that at all? Okay. All right, antiderivative, Callan, of x squared. Uh, one, no, one third x to the third. Perfect. Minus x to what power? You're gonna add one. So if I add one to one, I get and I multiply by the reciprocal. One half. Perfect. This is like x to the zero. So if I add one to that, I'm going to get x to the... Uh, if I add one to first. zero first and multiply by its reciprocal, which is one. So that's just going to be an x, correct? Mm -hmm. Minus. I put parentheses around here. I write its exponent. I hit the dong the third time in class today. Harsh is going to yell at me at lunch. What's this is going to become? It's like one of the natural log. Perfect. Natural value for x plus one. 
Awesome. Plus, Plus C. C. Okay. That's it for the unit. Four vote, please. Oh, completing the square. Yeah. Sorry, completing the square. Number eight. <laughs> Not done for the unit. Thank you. And that's going to be Austin's. Thank you for reminding me, Austin. All right. Austin. Uh, so when I look at this, you're thinking, maybe natural log, but what needs to be up here, Austin? The six x plus Okay, 10. well, what's the derivative of this? Oh, two x plus six. Yeah, it needs to be here. The chain rule says, if you've got a natural log, it better be here. It's not. Nope. So it's not natural log. Nope. So I'm thinking it's probably something inverse. Which one? There's no square root. Sometimes people go to Mexico and try to get one of these, don't they, Ella? Oh, tan tangent. Tangent inverse, correct? Yeah, tangent inverse, yeah. See, there's math all over the place. Okay, so you're going to come over here, Austin. You're going to write x squared plus 6x. You're going to put your plus 10 over here. And you're going to create little parentheses, and you're going to add how much? Nine. And what are you going to do over here? Subtract 9. Perfect. And this, you're going to rewrite this as x plus what? 3. And that's squared, correct? Mm -hmm. Plus 1. Would you agree? Yep. So then I come back to my integral. I write 1. I write x plus 3 plus 1. And 1 is 1 squared, correct? Yep. So that's my a. So it's not doing anything, because 1 doesn't do anything, right? Except make you over. Every year you get one of those. Okay. First thing you learn your you lose your hair, and your beard, which was bright red, becomes not, okay? So, is the derivative of x plus three one? Yep. Yeah, it is. So it's tangent inverse of what? X plus three? Yep, yeah, you would write, x, you could say x plus three over one, but that's just x plus three plus c. c. Now we're done. 